Ah, it is an anxious crowd tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, now is the hour when the PM Flyers join us here on Nighttime. A strange group of folk. They do need your help, however, so listen carefully. Give us some thoughts along the way because they do not know. Nothing is written down. They don't know what they're going to do. When they get there, they have to make it up out of their head. You give them the premise. If you will, please greet the PM Flyers in alphabetical order. I guess that's the best way to do it. Mr. Andy Goldberg. Followed by Miss Doris Hess. Ms. Lynn Stewart and Mr. Paul Wilson. All right, ladies and gentlemen, what, a, what little goodie have you planned for us tonight, Andy? Well, we want you to get a suggestion for uh, something that your mother told you uh, never to do. Oh, is this a group activity? All four of you are going to work at this? I'm going to do it. Yeah. Sure. The ladies first, and then you'll jump in later. So, what was it? Something? That your mother told you never to do. Something your mother told you never to do. Let me get over here and see. Uh, Anybody got a suggestion, an idea, huh? A lady all the way over here. All right, what is it? Let's find out what it is. Go outside with dirty underwear. Don't go outside with dirty underwear. You got, you're on, ladies, all right. Sorry. Good morning, mother. Where's my breakfast? I'm just about to get it for you. Would you like gruel? No, no. Cake. And don't bother unfreezing it. I never eat it unfrozen. I don't know how you do it without your teeth. You just gum it. <laughs> Cheesecake, mother. Let me just strip off the top for you. Sorry, are you dating yet? <laughs> As a matter of fact, no, I'm not, mother. How old are you anyway? <laughs> I'm in my middle 30s. Have you ever been felt up? <laughs> I doubt it. I'm not sure. What, what's, what's it like? Oh, it's a lot of fun. I remember when Burford used to feel me up. <laughs> That's how you were born, Dory. Oh, geez. I don't, I, I, Mother, let's just not talk about it, OK? I have a job to get to. I'm going to have my coffee. If you want me to help you eat, just put your face in there. <laughs> what about garments? Are you wearing underwear? That's what I want to know. Yes, I am wearing underwear, Mother. Good! You got those boulder holders on? <laughs> What are you doing in my drawers? Well, some of your panties are a little bit torn. Oh, jeez. Mom, I don't want you going outside with ratty panties. I'm not. I won't There's go a outside. man. Mailman. Hi. Do you have a delivery for me? Uh, yes, I have something here from Ratty, Ratty Undies Company at oh. Racine, Wisconsin. It it must be my order of ratty underwear. <laughs> I order it two or three times a month. Thank you so much for bringing it. Doris, don't you go outside with ratty underwear. Mama? Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> Paul and Andy, uh, this is what, uh, reasons you go to a doctor, is that what you need? We got an idea? Uh, water on the knee. You have water on the knee. <laughs> What seems to be the problem with you to damn Mr. Williams? Well, my knee is very painful and it's swollen, and when I push it, it's very squishy. I see. Well, I suggest you don't do that anymore. <laughs> well, I try not to do it, but you know when you have like a, a sore a tooth or something, you just can't leave it alone. Yeah. Maybe it's a little bit pleasurable for you as well, sir. <laughs> Well, I have to admit that it might be, you know, sort yeah. of a strange kind of way. You feel that you have water on it? Well, I, I think that's a good guess, yeah. Yeah, it does not lick. Is your foot getting more and more full? Well, no, it's just my knee that's causing the problem. I, my foot is fine. Well, if you have water on your knee, where is the water going? <laughs> I don't know where it's going. I don't know where it came from. It's just there. I, I mean, I don't even know if it's water on the knee. All I know is that my knee hurts. Uh, yeah, I suggest maybe we put that little spout on it and then we can let the water out. Are you an MD? I'm a doctor. 
I don't understand. All right. Let me do an examination, all right? Thank you. All right. It's about time. Look this way. I'd say ah. Uh. Ah? Uh. Dipper. Ah, <laughs> uh, Dipper, all right. Don't get violent, Mr. Wilmetz. We're just checking your knees. Look, I've had enough of this. I'm going to sub. Is there another doctor down the hall? Well, my doctor is down the hall, the one that I use. Oh, no thanks! Good luck! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the PM Flyers.